Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Crooked Man. My name is TJ Smith. We're going to be playing the boss battle now. He is uh, he is ready to, to kill us right now. And uh, I had to look up how to kill him because we're moving super slow. I think we're slower than we're supposed to be. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Uh, apparently, there's two, like, relatively cheap ways to, uh, to beat him. So... We're just gonna go with that, because I don't think it's a fair fight, because it moves so slow. So, we're gonna go to this menu screen here. One. Now we're gonna press the spacebar button 18 more times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen total, eighteen more. And that's it. I guess it worked. I pushed it one more time once we came out. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Yay! We're so good at this game! <laughs> David, you're so dang slow! Are you sure you're alright? Dude, I'm killing the monster for you. Dang it! Hang on, David! I'll come and save you! Ah! Started me, dude. You okay, David? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah. Somehow. I don't think it's done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. What? What do you mean again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. I don't think this is over yet. Uh, I don't get it, dude. But, uh, you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. Huh. Hey, hold, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. Where did you find this? Sorry, setting a timer. Just remembered I forgot. I found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so, uh... Thought you just dropped it. Place of Rakat. Do you know where this is? No clue. But, uh, I think it's pretty far from here. Take about a day to drive. I think I'll check this out. So long. See, David's voice is evolving as he as he sees more ish in his life. He, I've seen some stuff, man. It's becoming Batman. Hold on. You you said you're looking for who exactly? In a dangerous drive around this late? Why you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself, though. I have sort of an excuse. Huh? My point is, it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just... Right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Well, all right. Take care of yourself. Thanks for telling me to give up on my dreams. It really made me stronger. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. Uh, I can handle myself fine. Okay. Be careful, then. But wait! One more time. I keep forgetting these other things. I want to give you a kiss. I mean, a hug. I just think you're really cool, man. If we meet again sometime, you want to have a drink or something? Of course. I look forward to it. You know he just made his day. Scene two. Julius Stone Law School D. And now we're moving on to scene three. Um, we'll go ahead and keep going on. Cool. Mm. Thought that was my phone for a second. Was that his phone or his car? Hmm. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. A message from Shirley. She called me again? What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. I can't answer this phone from my ex-girlfriend that I really miss. The hospital, huh? Must be abandoned or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Should I go in? Of course I should. I got control? Okay. Hey, look at your cell phone, man. Why don't you use your cell phone, man? Use your cell phone. Okay, don't use your cell phone. Fine. Can we go outside the gate? 
Nope. Yes, we can. Is there anything sacred around here? Is there anything hidden? That's probably not. I'm looking for uh, hidden candy in the grass. Takes me back to my Pokemon days. Okay, let's go inside, I guess. Pfft. Lame. Okay, on to a new system. Here we are. A vending machine. It uh, might work. It doesn't say it doesn't work. The other ones did not work. Not operational. The elevator seems to be stopped at floor four. A wheelchair. Oh, so we're in a hospital now. We went from a school to a hospital. Fantastic. Not creepy at all. Okay. It's locked. Wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple lock, so maybe I could get it open without a key. Nothing inside. I got, I happened to land upon the one that was actually locked. All right, um, crowbar. No crowbar anymore, you, you dropped it uh, in your car. That's it. Okay, shelves of material and such. Such things, of course. Anything's in the desk? What's, there's, is there like something spilled on this desk here? Is that, what's the deal? I can't tell. A fire extinguisher. Some sort of equipment, a box, key box locked with a passcode. All buttons pushed, unlocked. Oh, cool. Nifty. Um. Don't mess it up. Okay, there we go. Open the key box. Got the cafeteria key and an elevator trunk key. All right, an array of nurse call lights. Does that mean I got the key for this thing? No, I still, still don't have the right key. What was the keys again? Cafeteria key, elevator trunk key. Okay. Some sort of equipment. A box. It says lost and found on top and nothing in it apparently. Copy machine. Nothing in it. All right, carry on. Um, what's down here? The door to the outpatient clinic. It has a number lock. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. The batteries must be dead. Place is abandoned. A bench. Dark outside. Stairs. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That's awkward. Whatevs. The door seems to be busted. Kick it in! You're strong, right? The door seems to be busted. Now we go from locked doors to busted doors. Or painted doors. Uh, unlock the cafeteria. Let's go on in. Stained white cups. A dirty teacup. Someone did not wash their dishes afterwards. Stained white cups. Dirty dishes. Cannot believe someone would do that. Hey, look. There's something Coca-Cola cans? An empty can. Just one, though. Even though there's two. Only one. So the can rolls on the ground. Something fell out. Got a small wire. An empty can. That door noise is pretty good. Good for you, door noise. The door seems to be busted. Door seems busted. I kind of want to go do that wire thing in the, the locker that's downstairs now. I'm just going to go quickly do that. I'm going to go from actual task to actual task. Maybe we will get done faster. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong one. My bad. It's over here behind the office desk. And here. Oh, okay. Let's try this. It's locked. Unlocked it with the wire. Booyah, Kesha. Got a note about a number lock. What's, what is, what does the note say about the number lock? What, what, four, four, eight, nine. All right, so the batteries are dead, but we've got four, four, eight, nine. Maybe we should try it real quick, just see what happens. Number lock, batteries are dead, uh, battery operated. We gotta get some batteries, okay. Do we have any batteries? I doubt it. I doubt it, Did you guys ever play that game? That was a card game back in the day. It was a card game. The door seems to be busted. The door seems to be busted. I would I would usually win that game because uh, 
I would just get all the cards and then I could doubt everyone and then no one could doubt me because they didn't know for sure if I did or did not have it. And then I just went. Not operational. The elevator seems to... Oh, there's blood here. Exciting. Can't look at the blood, though. Okay, this is not creepy at all. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! Ah! Uh, I can't get up beside it. Can we go up beside it over here? Yes. Can I? There's a bloody one right here. It says something on it. There's dark red writing. Dark red writing on the bed. Likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? The people who are dead? Not creepy at all. What does that say? 205. 4489? Is that what it was, right? We should write that down. Time to write! Sorry, microphone. Um, stream ideas? Can we write on this stuff? TJ? Self? Talking to myself? Sure, why not? 4489. Just, I could just pull it up in the game. Why did I even do that? I don't know, man. Just wanted to remember it. The door seems to be busted. 202. The door seems, what was this one? 203. Wasn't one of these numbers, is it four is like an unlucky number? Yeah, four is an unlucky number in Japanese, so they don't number it. That's right. You guys told me that in the comments. I remembered. The door seems to be blessed. Upstairs we go. Okay. Well, some more of the same. At least we know they have a good designer who made the same floor plans. Gosh, that noise. You go from no noise to like a loud thing. Magazine rack, the latest ones are 10 years old. Wow. Is that else surprising for a hospital, though? If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. So therefore, I will kill all of them to spare them their pain. A beverage dispenser... Emily Dickinson. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Did did the kitty just die? Is that literally what just happened? Dead? Were these its kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Who could have? And then from behind, door number three! Goodness gracious. A dead cat. The stomach has been cut open. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Reach into the dead animal! I mean... Oh, sorry. Got a bloody key. I, I was gonna say, I think the noise just changed in the game, but... I think that's an airplane. I think that's an airplane going over my head. Ugh. Okay. Let's go. The door seems to be busted. We got a bloody key. Oh, I'm nervous now. Okay. The door seems to be busted. I'm nervous now. It stopped at floor four, which is the next one. Floor four is the unlucky floor. The door seems to be busted. Okay, I'm on my nerves now. Door seems to be busted. Okay. Okay. Floor, fourth floor. Okay. Okay. There's something there. Okay. What is this? Some kind of dried fluid. It might be vomit. Okay. A single chair where there was a ghost sitting in it a second ago. A scrap from a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. What? It's his notebook. No doubt he was here. But is he still here now? 
A drab bed. A drab bed. A single chair. Vomit outside the door. Let's check this door. God, I'm nervous now. I'm really nervous. What is this? Counseling room. It's locked. Can we use the bloody key? Okay, no. Sure can't. Okay, good. whoop de doo Door seems to be busted. Door seems to be busted. Oh, I'm on edge right now. Fourth floor. Do nothing. <laughs> I should have saved earlier. How many of these do we have? We only have four more pages of these. Okay. 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 Door seems to be busted. 405. 403. There's no 404. Did I try this one yet? Okay. Whew. I'm pretty on edge right now. Okay, I guess we there's no other doors. So we kind of have to pry open the doors. Here we go. Time to No, you know what? Actually. It would be evil. Cliffhanger! I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Question of the video is what is your favorite card game? We we're talking about I doubt it earlier. Uh uh, my favorite card game is not, I doubt it. It is probably actually, uh, Rummy. Uh, I don't know. It's, an, it's a Virginia or a seven card Rummy. Um, there's every time I play Rummy with someone else, they have different rules for it. So, uh, you know, you, we may not be talking about the same game, but, um, Rummy, my version of Rummy that I play with my grandparents is my favorite kind. We would play it often is my, my dad's parents and we would often play, uh, on vacations over to Virginia, and um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. There's lots of late nights drinking eggnog, playing rummy. That's uh, a lot of good memories doing that. So, anyways, tell me what your favorite card game is in the comments, um, and uh, I will see you next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like. It's always appreciated. All right, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay classy. I'll see you again next time. Adios.